Today I'm going to show you the Beauty Kit, which is a brand new collection of adjustment brush presets exclusively for Lightroom. Whether you're new to retouching or just want an easier way to correct your image in Lightroom without having to jump into Photoshop, this pack is great for a whole range of different photographers. So we're going to start here in Lightroom. Remember there's a link in the description below on how to install the brush presets into Lightroom. So before we start, we're going to go and adjust things like our white balance. And you'll also want to add any lens correction or noise reduction in your image before we start. So to get into the brush panel, we can either click up here or press K on our keyboards. And it brings up this panel here. Now, what I'm actually going to do with this tutorial is introduce you to the presets, but then give you some tips and tricks and, and a kind of follow along of how I work and, and how to use the adjustment brushes, because they can be quite technical and it's not quite the same as just applying a preset. So if I click the drop down menu here, we can see all of our presets. Now they're separated into categories like detailed, eye, hair, lips, skin, teeth. And then afterwards is the effect. So we've got eye and then iris green, which means that this is to be used in the eye area and it's going to make her iris greens when we apply it. So I'm actually going to start with the eyebrows and I'm going to zoom in here and we can use the small window up here to uh, adjust where we are. Now remember, we can actually change the level of our zoom by pressing these numbers up here, which can come in handy if we're maybe doing a large area of her skin, or if we want to go closer and do things like the eyes. And this can also be changed here. So once I've selected eyebrows, I'm going to just put those in the viewer window so we're ready to start. And I'm going to talk you through how to use the brush settings down here. So there's three main things we want to look at. There's the size, which is the size of your brush. There's the feather, and that's the distance between the smaller inner circle and the larger outer circle. And that means the effect is slowly going to fade between those two points. That's good if you want to blend things in together. And then the flow is how intense the effect of that brush is going to be. So if I put it on 100%, it's going to give 100% of that brush when I apply it. So I like to generally start with uh, somewhere between 70 and 80, and that allows me to brush over the same area and slowly build up that effect, which is giving me more control. Now, once I'm happy with my settings, I'm just going to brush over the eyebrows here. And you might think, you know, it's, it doesn't seem to be doing very much here, but actually what it's doing is just a very, very subtle correction to draw us closer to our eyes by darkening these areas. And if I want to see any of the areas that I've gone over any time, I can go on to show selected mask overlay. That's the areas I've painted. Or I can scroll over the correction point, which is there. Now, when the correction point has got a black dot in the middle of it, that means that's the one that's active. That's the one that we're working on. But when we're happy with that, we want to start layering up these different brush presets. And we do that by clicking new, selecting our brush. So this time I'm going to go with eyeliner. I'm going to turn my feather down for this one, uh, turn the size right down, and I'm just going to start brushing on the eyeliner. Now I'm doing this quite roughly today, uh, but you've got probably a little bit more time to be you know, carefully doing this and uh, trying out what looks good on your image, taking a bit more time. Now you might apply an effect like that and say, you know, I can't really see it, it hasn't really... A hasn't really affected it very much, but the great thing is that once we've made these corrections, you can see the corrections there under the eye, I can then go in and change the preset. So we've actually got eyeliner plus, which is going to make it a little darker, and then eyeliner plus plus, which is even darker again. But let's say you know you apply an effect and it's not quite enough. You really want to control how strong that effect looks. We can click on this small arrow here, which is going to bring up our amount slider. Now, if I was to slide this up, you can see immediately that eyeliner is becoming a lot darker. And you can also lessen the effect as well by going the other way. So I think right about there looks good. I like to zoom out and see my image in full. Yeah, about there. Maybe just a touch there. And a touch in the corner there. Yeah, and I'm happy with that. Now, as you can see, this one's selected, as said before, with a black dot in the middle of it. If I wanted to switch back to my eyebrow brush at any time, I could click on here, and then I could start making corrections with this eyebrow brush here. But next, I want to apply some eyeshadow. So I'm going to click New. Go down to my gold eyeshadow. 
I'm going to turn up the feathering a little bit for this, turn the flow up ever so slightly. You'll kind of get used to what size feathering and what size flow uh, that you, you need for your brush. Feathering, generally, you'll have high feathering when you're working on larger areas like skin, and you really want the effect to blend in. But when you're working on smaller areas, you really want that control of exactly where it is. So for this, I'm just going to brush over our eyelids here. And because my flow isn't all the way up, I haven't got a, a full effect on there, so I'm going to brush back. And it's kind of slowly building up that effect, making it more and more apparent as I'm brushing back and forth over it. Now, let's say if you were to uh, brush an area like this, and there's a, there's a tiny bit up here that I actually want to uh, get rid of. I can click Erase here, and it's going to come up with an eraser brush. Works exactly the same way as a normal brush, and I can just go over and start erasing some of the parts that I don't want. This is really handy as well using the selected mask overlay. I can then start to get rid of it out of points where it's really not wanted to further craft my image. And again, the cool thing about this is if you decide you want to change the color, we can simply select something like purple and we've got this lovely purple. Let's turn that up a little bit. Yeah, that looks nice. So I'm gonna apply a new preset and I'm gonna go with whitening the eye. Again, I wanna turn the feathering down for this because there's a lot of sharp edges here. I don't wanna get it on our eyelids and I don't wanna get it on our iris. So it's very, very particular work. Now let's say I've applied that effect. Um, again, I don't like it that too bright. It's, her eyes are kind of popping out unnaturally now, so I'm just gonna turn that amount down until I get something that I'm relatively happy with. So that's looking good. Now, you might look at it and think, well, it doesn't look like we've done very much. This is the process of, of using the beauty kit and using brushes. You're building things up over time. It takes time to, to work things out and very, very carefully brush things on. But let's say I wanted to see the effect I've really been having. I can change this little button down here and turn off the brush adjustments. You can see the difference there between our eyes before and afterwards. So the last thing to do at work on the eyes Let's go new brush and I'm going to change the color of her iris. So for this I like to do selected mask, have a low feather and a fairly high flow for this. And I'm going to paint it onto her iris here, being careful not to get it uh, on her pupil or anywhere on the eyelids or on the white parts of her eyes. And once I'm happy with that we can deselect that and we see they've got these lovely blue eyes. Again, I can change the amount on this and I can change them to whatever color I want. But I think for this one, actually blue looks pretty nice. We've also got the catch lights and the catch light is just when you've maybe got a window light or a little bit of reflection from the sky. And a catch light enhance is gonna take this point here that we already see uh, this catch light and it's just gonna bring it up and give it a bit more definition and that helps to pop our eyes a little bit and make them sparkle. Really good, so that's the eyes, before and after. And if we zoom out, we can see it's kind of starting to take shape now. So next I'm gonna go down to her lips. See, these are the, the main kind of focal points of, of uh, somebody's face. It's the eyes, the nose, and the lips. We really wanna pay a lot of attention to those. So I'm gonna click on a new brush preset. And I'm going to go down to lips. We've just got the various colors here. Red, gray, nude, pink, purple, and a deep red. I'm going to go with just a pink to begin with. Fairly high flow, fairly low feather, because there's lots of um, contrasting edges. I'm just going to paint this over. Let's select the uh, mask overlay so you can see what I'm doing. Again, you know, I'm just uh, I'm, I'm painting this on. I'm kind of selecting mask overlays. Uh, this is just the way I work, but any way you want to do it, uh, you feel free to kind of develop your own style and, and what works for you and um, you know what what's the easiest and most efficient way for you to work. So I've painted the lips. I can deselect the mask and you can see we've got these lovely pink lips. Now we might look at this and say, actually it's a little bit too much. So if we wanted to turn the amount down on that, 
we can do that. So that's without the effect at all and maybe around there. Now this is the cool thing about these presets. If we click back on this arrow here, we can go in and change the settings of these presets at any time. So they are fully customizable. They're just great as a starting point. So I'm actually gonna turn the highlights down on these lips just a little bit because they were protruding just a little bit too much. And maybe the amount down just a tiny bit. Next, I'm gonna go and add some skin effects. Let's go down here. And for skin, we've got things like blush, we've got bronzer, we've got contouring to make certain areas of her face darker. Uh, we've got a dark circle corrected to, to correct any of the uh, circles under people's eyes when they're tired. We've got a de-shine in case your subject looks a bit shiny, maybe a little bit oiled, oily when you shot them. And a spot reduction and a softener and a warmer or cooler just to uh, add these slight temperature effects to your subject's skin. So for this, I'm going to go with blush coral. I'm going to zoom in. See, now I've applied this, it's just really, really subtle. I don't want too much of this going on here at all. I, I only want the, 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 the tiniest amount of this because too much and it looks ridiculous, you know. So it's, it's just about adding these really, really subtle effects. And let's add some contour just underneath that. Let's turn the flow down, the feathering down. And this is just gonna help to bring in her cheekbones just a tiny bit, not too much, and a little bit around her chin. We're also gonna put just a, a tiny bit on the side of her nose here, which generally helps to slim down the nose uh, a little bit when you're retouching. And then I'm also going to use some highlight on her skin. And again, this is just going to be to bring out certain areas. So just at the end of our nose here, on a filtrum. Up here, just below her eyebrow here. And just above it as well. And then this kind of triangle here. So I want to add a little bit in there, just where the light would catch. I'm just going to erase a slight part of that because it's too much of a defined edge for me. That's great. And remember, when we're using the arrays, it's not erasing every effect, it's just erasing the one we've selected, which is this one here. Okay, lovely, it's starting to look really nice. Let's just clean that up just a touch. I think I'm going to bring this blush down a little bit more. Now again, this isn't perfect. Uh, we're really just doing this as an example today. You can take a lot more time uh, on doing this. So next I'm gonna go with the Skin Smoother. This is just gonna get rid of um, any kind of wrinkles that you might have on your subject, uh, any kind of blemishes. Again, for this, I like to start with my mask overlay so I can really see what I'm doing. I'm gonna turn up my flow just a touch actually. Now for this, you want to do it on the, 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 the kind of the larger areas of the skin. You want to stay away from the detail areas. So, you know, you don't want to be touching her eyebrows. Certainly don't want to be touching her eyes because this is going to be softening that up and we actually want the eyes to, to pop out. We've got a brush for that, which I'll show you in just a moment. Down her nose here, side of her nose. This part of her cheek down here. And a forehead up here, really getting into the corners there. Not too much as to disturb the hairline. And we take that mask off. And what this has done is this has ever so slightly softened up her skin. Again, we can change the amount on this to soften it up even more or take it off completely. So I think something around there looks nice. 
Now the great thing about the sin softener is you don't just have to use it on the face, you can use it anywhere on the body. So I'm actually going to bring this down and uh, just come out here and actually just apply some of it here on her, on her chest area and on her neck around there. It's just going to soften that up. Let's see where we painted it. It looks really nice. I'm actually going to go ahead and just erase some of this uh, that's kind of touching the hair here. Okay, I'm I'm doing quite a quite a sloppy job here, but you've uh, you, you'll have time to go in and do this properly. Okay, great. The next thing we're going to do is to um, add some uh, some kind of effect to our hair. So what we've got is we've got highlight enhancement. So for this, uh, if I was to turn down my feather, and this is just going to uh, simply enhance any of the highlights in our hair, just make them pop out a little bit more and uh, I like to do this not all the way down the hair just kind of around her face again this I'm doing a, a terrible job here and, and you can just go over the, the highlights like so and build that up but actually that's that's not what I'm going to do um, I'm going to delete that so you can delete any of the points at any time by selecting them and click delete and I'm actually just going to go and select a clear gloss which is going to give a kind of glossy effect to uh, all of her hair actually which just helps to kind of make it pop that, that little bit more, uh, especially around her face area. And this kind of, this little bit up here as well, really nice. Okay, so that's, it's really starting to shape up. Let's have a look, it's before and after. So just these really, really subtle effects, but it's it's really helping to clean up this image a little bit. So we're not, we're not applying artificial makeup too heavily. We're just kind of really helping to clean up. This is why these, these presets work really nicely on a subject that perhaps wasn't wearing very much makeup. Now we've also got these detail brushes. We've obviously got things like dodge and burn, but we've got this one called enhance. And what enhance is gonna do is to just enhance certain areas and make them pop. So I like to do this uh, around the eyes, like so. Just really make those eyes pop, um, so that this, so that the audience is is drawn to the eyes uh, around the lips here. Make them pop out a little bit. Uh, it's the end of the nose, and I like to do the to the collarbone here as well. That's a bit more definition in her neck. But you know, you can really do this any way uh, that you like. And there's also the add color. And add color is just going to um, take an area and it's just going to saturate that particular area. So I like to do this again around the face area because um, it's just going to help to. to to warm up just that particular area. It's, it's just reinforcing that. It's only really, really subtle. Okay, so if we do the selected mask overlay, we can see it's, it's only on her face and it's, it is just very subtle, but it's helping to, to, to bring the audience's attention to our subject just that little bit more. So this is kind of our, our, our final image now. So you can see all these different points that we've, we've got here correspond to all these uh, tiny areas and, and we can go in and we can change this. So let's say if I wanted to, um, you know, select the softener uh, and I wanted to erase some of it, I could do that. If I wanted to go in and, and maybe get rid of the, the lips, I could do that or change the color of them, which is really nice. And you can build these up as well. So, uh, you know, I could, I could put on a certain effect to, to the eyes and then I could, I could, you know, do another effect over it if I wanted to. So then we're left with this image. So we've got our before and our after, and you can really see that, you know, her eyes are now popping out. We've got these lovely, luscious lips, and the image is looking a lot more inviting, a lot more saturated, and it's really helping to focus our attention on the model. Now, remember, this works great with men, women. Uh, it works with portraits, editorial, fashion, lifestyle, uh, all types of photography. So, you know, just dive in, have a play with it, and see what you can come up with. Welcome to the Beauty Kit. Thank you.